Hi, third graders. This week, there's no new learning in math. What we're going to do is we're going to review all of the things that we learned in this fraction unit, make sure that we really understand all of it, and then we're going to do a project to show all the things that we've learned and that we know about fractions right now. So I'm going to walk you through the project, and I'm also going to show you um, where you can go to find a whole bunch of um, videos that you can go back to for review if you need them, because there are no lesson videos this week except this one that you're required to watch. Okay. So the first thing is, in your Google Classroom, if you go to the math section and you look in this week's math overview, so it says week of 511 math overview and resources, it says, this week there are no new lessons. I am linking all of the fractions videos from this unit here for you to watch, to review as you need them. These videos are all ones that you have already seen or you should have already seen. You're not expected to watch them all again. You only need to watch the ones that are a little bit fuzzy or things that you need some extra practice on. So if you think to yourself, well, you know, fractions on a number line was kind of hard. Go to the videos on fractions on a number line and watch those. If you're feeling, well, fractions that were greater than one was kind of hard, go watch those. Okay? Don't sit down and watch all of these videos. There's way too many of them. But there's only one assignment this week. This week, it's a project, and you're going to create um, your own pizza place to show off everything that you've learned about fractions, and you get to be a little bit creative, too. So just like for the last few weeks, everything's going to pop open for you on Wednesday, at least the assignment is. The um, actual the videos for review are there now, so you can go in and you can look at any of these if you need to. Some of them are my videos, some of them are Khan Academy videos, some are some of the other ones that we, I found on the internet that you watched. Um, but that'll all be available to you on Wednesday. These are available right now. So if you want to use Monday and Tuesday to review some of these things before the project comes out, that would be a great idea. Okay, so let's look at the project. So it says, My Pizza Place, a fraction project. Name and date. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click in here. I just double clicked and I'm going to type my name, Becky Shock. And I'm doing this on May 13th, 2020. Okay. Now moving on to the next slide, it says throughout the project, you're going to imagine, plan, and create your very own pizza place. Each section or task within this project will focus on a different concept that you learned in the fraction unit. This is your opportunity to be a little creative and show us all that you've learned in this unit. Feel free to rewatch any of those video lessons in the Google Classroom to review concepts that might be, feel a little fuzzy for you. All right, so part one, plan it. Think of a name for your pizza place and type it in the box below. It can be creative or super simple. So my pizza place is going to be called Mama Mia's Pizza Ria. That's my pizza place's name. Now over here I've got to create a logo for my pizza shop. So I can either use these drawing things, maybe I want to put in shapes, maybe a circle, kind of looks like a pizza. I could like make that skinnier. Oh. I'm going to change the color, I'm going to make it red, and maybe I just want to put like a giant MP in the middle. So I can do that. I can use the shapes and I could use the line tool. If I click this little arrow, I can do lines, arrows. I could do kind of a scribble, so I could maybe put like mama. I'm going to do another one. Mia's. And then another one. P for, oh, that's not good. I don't like that. Uh, squiggle, big P for pizza. Maybe that's my logo. That's not super awesome. But I don't have to just use those tools. Instead, I could use what Miss um, Court taught us about taking pictures, and I could put that in there. So maybe I, let's imagine that Mrs. Shock drew a picture. But I didn't, so I'm just going to use a pretend. I'm going to pretend this is my picture. I drew my logo on here, and I'm going to use what Miss Court taught me about taking a picture. So I'm going to go to Insert, Image, Camera. And do you see it brings up my little camera? So I'm going to hold up my picture. I'm going to come over here and click the yellow. And if you see up here, it has my example, so I could click Insert. And look, there it is. I added it to my slide. And I can just put it right there. I can make it bigger or smaller if it's too big. Like, obviously, mine's not actually a logo because I used a post-it. But 
that's okay. All right. Okay, so that's what I'm doing on that first slide. Now the next slide says, oh, it's not letting me click. There we go. Um, now I have to plan it. I've got to plan out my menu. So I'm making a menu for my pizza place using the following requirements. You're going to have eight different kinds of pizzas. One eighth of them will be cheese only. So I'm going to call that one cheesy yummy. That's what I'm, na I'm naming it. Cheesy yummy. And that's going to include cheese only. And I'm going to say that that costs $10 for that pizza. Okay. One eighth of your pizzas, oops, that's what I did. Five eighths will have some meat on them. So the one, two, three, four, five. So maybe I have a, the Baconator. Uh, maybe I have the sausage pie. I don't even know. I'm not even spelling things correctly at this point, guys. Um, pepperoni. Um, Deluxe. I'm going to do an all meat, all day pizza. One, two, three, four. I need one more. I'm going to call it the meat a pa -booza. Okay, those are all meat pizzas. So then over here, I'm going to type what's in them. So this one's going to be cheese and bacon, so cheese and sausage, cheese and pepperoni, cheese, pepperoni, sausage bacon, and ham. And then cheese, bacon, pepperoni, sausage, ham, and s spicy pepperoni. And then I'm going to give them all the cost. Okay. One eighth of them have to be vegetarian. So this one's a veggie pizza. And I'll type what's in it and how much it costs. And this one has to have some kind of fruit. So I'm going to do a pineapple pizza. Okay. So I've done that page. I've got to fill in all these and I've got to fill in the cost, but I'm done with that. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but now I have to do 10 different drink options. So five tenths have to be different soda. So maybe this one's going to be Coke, Diet Coke, um, Orange, Ooh. another soda, Mountain Dew, and... Dr. Pepper. Okay. Then I have to have three tenths juices. So apple juice, pineapple juice, and milk. Okay. Okay. And then the other two, I can do anything I want coffee, tea, smoothies, or milkshakes. So I'm going to do coffee. spelling coffee wrong and I'm gonna do milkshake and I got to put in all the costs for all of those okay so now I have to plan what it's gonna look like inside there so I got to put out tables now these you just drag and drop them and kind of create like what is your floor plan gonna look like I want to put this booth in over here, so I'm going to go like this. I spun it around because I want to put a booth over in this corner. And then I want to put another booth over in this corner. Okay, and then I want to put in one really long, like, counter size table here. Okay, so there are my tables. It's all set up and ready to go. Okay, so now on the next page, I have to fill in the fractions of what I just did. So how many small circles did I use? I used one small circle, so I'm going to type that in. One. How many total tables did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tables. So that means all of these will be eleven, huh? Those should all be the same. Okay. Well, so if it's 1 out of 11, that is 1 slash 1, 1. And I would say 1 eleven. Okay. How many large circles did I have? 
looks like three. So that would be three out of 11, and I would type three elevenths. And I would continue. I'm just going back to the picture that I made and filling it in. Okay, all right, cool. Now, it's part two. I've got to prep all my pizzas. So it says that I'm going to build my pizza using the directions down here. So this says two slices with cheese and pepperoni and the rest cheese only. So, so they all seem to get cheese. See how I'm building them? I just made that a pile of cheese so you can just click, click in and sliding. So they all get cheese and it says two of them are getting pepperoni. So pepperonis, pepperonis. I could put more than one pepperoni on each slice, but I'm gonna stop there. Then I go to my next slide and it's the same thing. So now I'm talking about that same piece, that same pizza. There were um, four pieces out of six or four sixths that were just cheese. And then there were two sixths that were cheese and pepperoni. Then I'm gonna take, come down here and I'm gonna find those fractions on the number line. It's not super easy to get it on there, just do the best you can. Ta-da! So now I'm just doing that again. So now I have a different direction. It says half the pizza has meat on it, the other half is veggie only. Do the same thing. This one is five slices of pineapple. The rest um, has five slices with pineapple and the rest just have other toppings. After you do that, same thing. Fill in the chart, put it on the number line. Then this one is half is cheese, one fourth is meat, one fourth is veggie. So fill in the chart, put it on the number line. And then you have some questions for deliveries. So it says, if I did three pizzas that were cheese only, they were $8 each, that's three times eight, so that's gonna be $24. Two times eight is $16. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just multiplying. Same thing here. Then I add it all together for total cost for that delivery. Then I come over here, how many pizzas were ordered all together? Three, four, five, looks like eight. Okay, what fraction was pepperoni? Looks like two out of eight. Now I'm gonna write it in words. What fraction was bacon and mushroom? Fill that in. That seems pretty easy. You're gonna do it again with a different delivery order. And then you just have three problems for comparing. Sam ate four sixths of his pizza, Beth ate two sixths of hers. So we're gonna fill them in using the pieces. So maybe I fill in Sam's for what he hasn't eaten yet. What um, Beth hasn't eaten yet. I'm gonna write my fractions down here and then I drag my um, comparing symbol between whichever one it is after you put the fraction in, okay? Same thing with these two. It tells you how to do your pizzas, then you have to compare. It tells you how to do your pizzas, then you compare. And then you're done. So that's your project for the whole week. It's just this one assignment. It looks like a whole ton, but it's one assignment for the whole week. You don't have any forms, you don't have any quizzes, you don't have any drawings, this is it. So I'm really excited to see how you do. Um, building your own pizzeria and making your logo and getting creative and then showing me everything that you learned about fractions before we move on to our next unit. Have a great week, third graders. Remember to email me or the other teachers if you need anything. Have a good week.